Okay, guys, let's try one. Can you guys see? Oh, my goodness. Can you guys see? Oops. <laughs> yeah, don't mind. Don't mind my nails. Can you guys see? Look at this bit. So nice and soft, like hot bread. Can you guys see? Mmm. This is how good. And this is the crunchy part. You guys listen. And guys listen, the crunchy bit. And when it's cold, because it's hot now, it's not that crunchy. When it's cold, you even get more crunchier. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for your love and your support. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I make my buns, Nigerian buns. Although I have a recipe how to make Nigerian buns on this channel already, but this video was requested by one of my subscribers. And I'm like, okay, even though I have the recipe before, it's 2020, I need to upgrade it. And I was actually craving for it, so, and that's why I want to make it. And then my subscriber can also see it, and I would like to share with you guys. So, I have my flour. I normally use self-raising. You can use plain, but I've never used plain before. I always use self-raising flour. I'm going to use salt. We need sugar and vegetable oil. Be using baking powder. Be using nutmeg. This is ground nutmeg. And I have my bowl. I'm going to be missing the dough. And I also have water. This is warm water. So we are going to miss our dough now. It's very simple step. Okay, so now I'm going to just take my flour. I'm going to open the flour. This is how I normally make my own. I've been enjoying it. Some people used to add egg to their own, butter, milk. But trust me, guys, I don't add any of those when I'm making my buns. I don't. So can you are you guys seeing it? That is two and three and four five. This is one of my uh, favorite snack when I was back in Nigeria. And to tell you guys, I actually like buns more than puff puff. I love buns so much. You know, it's nice, especially when you make it and it's crunchy. Oh, I love it so much. That's one of my favorite snack when I was back in Nigeria. So I put a five spoon of flour and now sugar. I'm using about two and a half, two and this little, you know. And we are going to taste it later. In case if it's not too, if it's not sweet enough, we can always add more sugar. You know, if you are a new beginner, this is an easy step for you. So I'm going to add nutmeg. And this is optional. I've never had nutmeg to my buns before. This is my first time of adding it. I just wanted to have that nutmeg flavor. Normally, I just make it plain. The only thing I normally add nutmeg is my puff puff. But today, I decided to add a bit of nutmeg to it. And now, I'm going to be adding salt. This much of salt. I see about a quarter of the... Uh, no, it's not half it's not half it's about quarter of the tablespoon we're gonna add i have my baking powder i don't need a lot because it's self-raising flour this much should be enough about this much so this is the same quantity of uh, salt so i'm gonna add it i'm going to mix everything together Okay, so now I'm going to be adding my warm water. At this time, if you are someone that you want to add egg or milk and butter, this instead of you adding water, it's going to be the egg and milk and butter you melt. And when you whisper the egg, you're going to be adding to it at this point. Okay, but because I'm not using it, I'm using water. Okay, so I'm just going to mix everything. And you can also use your hand to mix it, you know. Today, I feel like the aqua way, that's why I'm using my wooden spoon. 
so if you are not comfortable using Odin spoon just use your hand I beg so I'm gonna miss it it's still a bit hard so I'm gonna miss more water going to mix a little bit of water not too much but that much in case you are missing it and you mistakenly add more water what i would just suggest you do you just add a bit more of flour no panicking okay just add a little bit of flour and if you see that it's not sweet you just add a little bit of sugar you know it's not difficult I'm going to mix this properly. So what I normally do, I'll just taste it. Perfect. It doesn't need sugar or salt. Everything is okay. So let's say it needed more. I would have added a little more and miss again, you know, but it doesn't need anything. It's just perfect. Even the consistency. Can you see? And when you're making buns, you don't make it uh, watch or lose like um, puff puff. You know, you make this like this. Can you see? <laughs> see the way I'm turning it like Amala. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm going to leave this aside. And now we are going to put the vegetable oil we are going to use on the cooker. Let's go. So now this is the vegetable oil I showed earlier. So I'm going to add it to the pan and I've put the pan on the cooker. So the pan is nice and hot and make sure your heat is on medium heat. So I'm going to add the vegetable oil. Can you guys see? La, 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 la. Okay. That's okay. So I'm going to allow it to get hot on medium heat. Don't put it on high. Okay. So now. This is it and this is the consistency can you guys see so I'm going to start frying now my oil is hot and make sure your oil is hot not too too hot put it on medium heat but if it's not hot the buns will be soak soggy in the, the oil and we don't want that You guys see properly? your fork you on it oh can you guys see can you hear the crunchiness already 
even though it's not finished you guys so we are going to allow it to fry till we turn golden brown and i'm using electric cooker so my number is on number five if you are using electric cooker make sure you turn it to number five immediately you put the oil on the cooker let the oil get hot at the temperatures of the uh, five you know electric cooker you turn it to five because the highest is six so you turn it to five okay can you guys see here that can you hear can you hear the can you can you hear the sound mm -hmm. so this is how i normally fry my i don't use egg or butter or milk but if you have someone that you really need to add you can add it just to let you guys know everybody have their own ways of making it this is how i normally enjoy mine you know so we're gonna leave it till it turn golden brown okay almost ready can you guys see it's almost ready so I'm, I just turn it now so that the other side can cook as well. This one is being a bit stubborn. Let me put it there. Yeah. Can you guys hear that? <laughs> okay, come here. Come on. You have to stay like that. So it's golden brown and I have my tissue here I need mean, a kitchen roll inside my sifter things like this so I'm going to take it out from the oil I'm gonna put that So that's how you make your buns. Very easy, easy, easy recipe. Let's see. So this is the remaining. I'm going to repeat the process till I finish. That's it it's only four left so it's finished now i'm going to allow that to you know to cook and you know turn golden brown okay guys so i'm going to pour it in my plate i just put the tissue so that you can take out the the ss oil it's not tissue it's kitchen roll guys <laughs> sorry i'm saying tissue 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 so guys my buns is ready thank you so much for watching if you are new to my channel you like to see more recipe do not forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell i'll see you guys in my next video bye okay guys let's try one can you guys see oh my dearies can you guys see oops <laughs> yeah don't mind don't mind my nails you guys see look at this bit so nice and soft like hot bread can you guys see mmm this is so good and this is the crunchy part you guys listen and guys listen the crunchy bit